Hi, my name is Kate Drummond. I've been a neurosurgeon at the Royal Melbourne Hospital since 1997 and I'm currently the Director of Neurosurgery. The types of trauma that we see in the emergency department related to the brain are either due to bleeding from uh, damage to blood vessels or skull fractures or bruising of the brain or related to tearing of the nerve fibres, particularly uh, when uh, there's what we call a deceleration injury where the head is moving quickly and then suddenly stops, such as when it hits the ground. Uh, and that's a devastating injury causing both shearing of the nerve fibres but also bleeding in the brain. The process in turning off life support is a horrible situation for everyone. The doctors involved, the family, it's a terrible process for anyone to go through. It can really happen in two situations. The first one is where it's decided by the family and the doctors that the injuries are so terrible that the patient would not want to survive in that state. And uh, after a period of thought and uh, consideration as to how the patient's recovering, the life support may be turned off. The other way that that happens is if the patient is actually certified brain dead, either by examination by two experts, usually a neurologist or a neurosurgeon or intensive care doctor, or via an angiogram that shows that there's no blood flow in the brain. And in that case, the patient has no hope of survival and uh, the, the, the life support will be turned off and death will follow very quickly. The lasting effects of uh, a brain injury uh, can be anything from a vegetative state, a terrible state where a, a person is alive and yet has no interaction or only minor interaction with their surroundings and is completely dependent on care, but can also be something that seems more minor. The, the victim's walking and talking, but they're never the same husband, father or son, daughter um, that they were going to be. They never quite do as well at school, never quite do as well at their job and never quite have the relationships that they were going to have. And then of course there's everything in between. Paralysis, epilepsy, blindness, anything that the brain does can be damaged and can be damaged in a, a fashion that it never recovers. I don't think people understand that life changes in a second. All of a sudden nothing is the same ever again. They don't realise the person who throws the punch, the person who has the injury, the families of both of those people and society is never the same again. They don't realise that uh, the effects of that one stupid decision will be with them for the rest of their lives. And so don't do it. it it's not worth it. It's never worth it.